What is up ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to show you how I edit my gameplay videos. First we go into my Eva Medias file and as you can clearly see it pause it as the video which includes the game audio and music and any noises and they both are saved at the same file name, well number. Now here's something you need to know with Eva Media, particularly this one I have, it starts recording the commentary later. It starts it with the video, then it starts with the actual voice commentary. So if I was to zoom place this all the way at the beginning and then zoom out here towards the end, you can see that the video the commentary ends right here. Now you think I would just cut off this part of the video, but that's not what you're supposed to do. What you're supposed to do is move this to the end and then move over here to the front and eliminate this part right here and then just boom then you drag these two things towards the end at the beginning and then you can go in and like if there's like some place where you're not talking you cut that part out or when you like have to build something like in power world you can speed that up at that point and edit out any noises because it would be kind of annoying when you are editing it so and you know how I usually use those overlays which I sometimes forget we go over to here to pictures into my AS Pro 11 which stands for Anime Studios Pro 11 and double click that and we head to the file named describe we can see all the files of the overlays I made. This is Vanny, Ribbit, Danny. You get the idea that I can use for my overlays to subscribe. So I'm going to use for this example, I have two Luminars here aka Sheldon so we'll just use this one the only difference is it gives it a different different glow at the end but basically what you have to do is pick a certain point on the timeline where you want it to be I'm gonna say around here but you notice if I uncheck this you can't see anything but that's because you now have to double click on this wait for another window to pop up and we here where it says color key you highlight that use this eyedropper tool and simply just boom and that completely hides the scene now I'm not gonna play it exactly because then you would hear the commentary and the audio but there you can see Lumina and she has that little glow around her, which I like. So we're just gonna save that as. And you would normally, if you were to do this for every part in the map, you would basically have to go in and do the same thing. But if you hit Control C and then go somewhere else on the timeline, you notice it highlights the main line. What you have to do is then just click on here and then control V and it posts it again. And I'm just going to put one more right here and control V and it will oh, work the days. same. And I just remembered it's going to be playing the uh, game audio and my commentary at the same time. And we don't want that for this demonstration. As you can see, it plays perfectly. And right now we just need the end card. So we'll head over to here and grab this end card. 
which is titled end video which i made in anime studios by the way and i just tagged that to the end and then we hit the um now i don't want you guys to see the finished product so i'm just going to well not cc but not see what the video is about so we're just gonna i like them so it's on that screen right there then we go to publish here we can decide where we want it to be format we want it to be as soon as it loads as you can see we have this this one will just import the audio it will like completely remove the video so you would just have the sound I leave it on this and if I want it to be the highest quality it can be I set it to the highest max level downside is it will take it a long time to render and this is so if you wanted to see it render at the same time but again I don't want you guys to see that so for the sake of this I'm just gonna type um, I'm just gonna leave it like that that product name click save and hit render and it will start to render the scene and that's pretty much the basics on how I edit my gameplay videos so I hope you enjoyed this little view on how I go about editing my gameplay videos uh, there's a lot more into it like if I die a lot of times I would put like a death counter up or if I have to get a certain amount of keys or something like that, I might put an overlay I make on that. But that's a little bit more work. So, and if I want to like post a video every day, I have to make some cuts. That's why the Nintendo Direct wasn't it on the exact same day it came out because I had to make those shots of my character edge showcasing his reactions to the video so and i have to mash it up to the video itself but that's it for now there's a lot of work going into editing don't think like it's just record and post because there's a lot more work into it than you think like if there's like certain pauses you have to edit that out and stuff but anyway, thank you for watching. If you like this behind the scenes, give it a like. Share this video with your friends and tell me what you think. And until the next one, this is Edge signing off.